I should be live. I don't know if I sound good at all, but I should be live. And that's all you can really ask for. Yeah, no, they're doing better than I than I remembered. How's everything sound and how do I sound compared to the game quality? If you know you ignore that weird jump in music there. Oh, I already put boy up there. I'm losing it. Sounds good to you? Okay. I'll do. This wild fungus is the same level as boy. It's gonna be an uphill battle with this duck and I'm not entirely sure it's gonna be worth it, but I'm gonna try. for good, you know? Boy will not be going in any capacity. It's good? Okay. I'm not really sure why I'm bothering to raise Boy when, like, courage is right there. But I'm determined to use multiple Pokemon, because otherwise it's just a, <laughs> a single Pokemon run, and I'm going to be real. Oh god, that hurt. Um, Breviary is definitely good enough that a single Pokemon run could happen. If this thing has Pursuit, I swear. Sort of pop did I? Okay. Well, at some point I'll teach someone fly, I guess, then. Soda pop. I need to get more. Oh, I was I wasn't bothering with soda pop anymore, was I? There's more in the lemonade trade now. What? Let a cast from you? What? Really?
I didn't even know Castro was in this game. Well, that's just rude, quite frankly. I wonder if they're here to actually counteract the, the gym leader's gimmick. Because um, the gym leader focuses on weather. But I, I legitimately didn't know they were here. Gave more experience than this stupid trainer too. Here I was hoping for a lot and all, but nope. Pushed it to too high a level. It might not know its weather moves. Huh. That's just sad. Because I'm pretty sure regular trainers typically just use level up moves. Was, um, that was something. Oh, thank goodness. Actual move. Goodness, why can't I rematch you? You were terrible. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. At least these fungus aren't really going to be an issue. Like with my entire flying tech team. Boy! Boy's only one level behind, like the, the team average, basically, and is still terrible.
See, I know that our levels are generally behind those of opposing trainers, but I'm not overly worried about that. Um, this is, I feel, around the point in the game at which you'd actually get six Pokemon, and the level curve somewhat respects that. And due to how experience is gained in these games, I should therefore catch up. I'd still ideally like to get everyone to about level 30 for the next gym though. Just so that we're not too behind. So that's probably the first thing we're going to do today. You did not look like a trainer, you look like an NPC, but okay. Please don't have, please don't have, please don't have electric types, please don't have electric types. Oh. What's with the deer? Takedown was coming. Okay, that's absolutely worthless to me. But I can't get any Pokemon with those abilities right now. Expected to be fair. You do that, Marissa. You do that. lack of a better term. Really terrible. Hey, one shot something. What more can you ask for? We're gonna absolutely try and use this thing, but uh, yeah. Ducklet does insist on being truly dreadful. I will give him one thing though. He's hit 11 air slashes in a row. It's not technically impressive, but you know, it's nice. That wasn't even the Pokeball jumping. I pressed A, a, a D appeared. What more do you expect from your RPGs? I mean, 
mean, boy can one-shot stuff that he's like six levels above. So if I just grind up to like level 40, he'll be good for the gym. And I mean, how long could that really take? Being honest, it probably wouldn't actually take that long, but I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> He is actually getting better. He's still dreadful, if you ask me. Well, getting better. See, that was almost a one shot, and that's something a higher level than. He is improved. Just really slowly. And I guess once Boy hits level 30, we'll um, keep the experience share on him, but level up some other people? I just feel it's an advantage he's going to require. Should be the same deal as the previous one though. Alright boy, let's see. He hit all 20 air slashes. Air slash only has 95% accuracy. I'm proud. I'll see you ahead, Hale. Really? The whole time? You just didn't really use it? That's weird. Ah, uh, time for Dingbat to get paralyzed again. In exactly the same way. Strange. I mean, I'd be a bit horrified if it didn't. Oh, there. Can it not be a cast form, please? Thank you. That's what I wanted from the other one, but you gave me a cast form.
You do you, Dagbat. You do you. The love is born, all that. You know, it's never occurred to me before, but ice cream cures love as well. If you're too in love with someone, just eat an ice cream and it'll go away. Like, to the best of my understanding, ice cream is more for curing breakup things, but you know. Grimacing. Even if that hiker had a rock type, it's not like he'd be able to take out all my birds. Like, I do actually have things that are good against rocks now. Stone cave yet. I just kind of don't see the need. <sighs> Introducing the dark grass in the same generation as they introduced the uh, the shaking spots will always be weird to me because, like, <laughs> this should be a good way to grind, fighting multiple Pokemon at once. But it's not, it's inefficient. Boy's happy, even if he's still terrible. Gonna be real, I was looking for an item rather than like a, a dude. But like, thanks, I guess, Richard, because like experience is experience. Defense isn't going to help you live alone. I'm actually not too sure if any of my team would have been bothered by that iron defense. Is that the same? I feel like it helps. Like I feel like I, if I was if I was cripplingly poisoned, I oh wrong part. I feel like if I was cripplingly poisoned, like I wouldn't be very energetic. So I'll give him that. Ah, the 
the biggest issue with this room. Right, I'll at least try and gain some experience, I suppose. Quite frankly, though, if the game feels the need to throw cast forms at me, I'm just going to move on. Oh, I can win the gym like this. I don't need to play it. If I'm not going to be coming any... Oh, there's no way I get to that patch of grass. That's no use! That's a snake thing! <sighs> no, that's tedious. Yeah, evidently Black 2 and White 2 felt that um, they'd made that Black and White had made grinding a bit too easy. And they add way more Pokemon into the rustling grass. actually only a 50% encounter. Even though black and white they were at least 80% here. Okay. Chill. I give experience, I guess. I'm doing that to be honest, it's courage I kinda wanna raise up for this gym. And probably all gems from here on. I'm not 100% sure why I'm walking back. And I could just fly because I've got places to go. if you're not too dead to love. Out of curiosity, how rematchable is that trainer? Can I just literally scoot in here? Walk back out? And then talk to her? That's the grinding spot. Charge up to 30. Um, gonna be real. Less for Curtis's sake and more for boys. At least I will if it's only one more battle. one more, then it's two more, and if it's two more, what's two more? <sighs> it still doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think it might be two more. I 
Right, the question is, whose moveset is bad enough that they deserve fly? I mean, I think we all know who it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. Like, Aqua Ring is a good move, but it doesn't really have a place on a Pokemon as squishy as Boy, so yeah. Quickly fly off and buy supplies and stuff, and then we'll take on the gym. Uh, so I need to go to. Oh, yes, I need to go to Castillo. This one I overthought. Oh wait, right. Castillo is where I want to be anyway. Uh, okay, Pokemon Health is Yeah, we're pretty much all in the eighties. buy like 10 of these I guess. I'd like to buy more but you know I think I'd lose my patience. On the plus side at least I think it's this generation where they made it so that when it's like would you like to buy another one? It goes back on the drink you were on. It didn't do that before. It always just defaulted to fresh water. I have no idea how many I bought. Um, I'll just go until I'm below 90,000. Also, where did I get all this money? <laughs> this is probably also the last time I'll actually bother buying stuff from vending machines. Pretty close to 10. And then boy then flies over to Joy Avenue. Which I did not realise I had a fly spot. I was just gonna go to Nambasa and go down, but it speeds up my life. Alright, actually you know what? We got visitors. Yep, we do. I got y'all call me mistress. Oh, come on, why not? And do we have another one? We do. Amando! Actually recognize his name. I had him in another file. You know what, Amando? Just because I actually know you, <laughs> you can stay too. Because I don't think I'm going to be messing with the shops here anyway. So filling it up with antique shops does not bother me. Right, anyway, Janus. That's so ridiculously cheap. <laughs> Just to show off the antique shop. Like, Chunk C rank contains a bunch of stuff. You know what? I'll take that. This contains like rocks and stuff like that, whereas this contains actual items. Okay, that was very worth my time. Amanda, are you gonna you're gonna let me down? Yeah, 90% of the time you get hard stones.
Um, but that's the only way to get a lot of evolution items in this game, but... You won't get them in just the super big box and stuff. You have to grind up further than that. Uh, you have to grind up the actual um, shops to higher ranks until they start selling smaller boxes. Somehow the smaller boxes have better stuff in them, I guess because they were more hidden. Oh, actually one more thing. laziness of me because I can just teach return back over. Vote switch is a good move, don't get me wrong, I just currently don't have a use for it. But I'll take the I'll take the hard skill. Um hard skills let you remember forgotten moves. But a lot of evolved Pokemon learn moves at um, level 1. I will never use it. Uh, so you can get moves, like, they might learn a move at level 1 that they also learn at, like, level 54, for example. Like, but normally you don't get it until 54, but the heart skill allows you to learn it earlier. It's a cute little thing, and a Hoping to get some use out of it. Uh, Vespaquen in particular has a completely different learn set from Combi, so it might get some stuff at level 1, but I'm not sure. Kinda just looking forward to the surprise on that one. finally deal with the gem that I just kind of left alone last time. The music in here is so funky. <laughs> it's just not me expect from a mine shaft, I feel. Uh, now let's see if I can remember the way this time. easily last time. I've got somewhat of a strategy for this gym, and by strategy I mean I kinda hope courage will carry us. I I I did keep you waiting, I will admit. is actually just a strength boost for me. Oh, it's faster. <laughs> oh, it's faster. Oh, 
Okay, it's faster. Right. That didn't even do very much. And this thing's probably just gonna... No, it didn't even explode on me. Terrify me. Here it comes. Right, this thing's definitely gonna outspeed and just one hit KO. Yep. <laughs> but that would likely have one hit KO'd from full. And it will also likely one hit KO literally all of my Pokemon. Everything up to here was just a warm up act. This is the actual boss form. result of it hitting itself in confusion right there. That slash is one of the most terrifying things I've ever seen in my life. Come on boy, you can take it. Yeah. here a while. But that's okay because ducks love lemonade. You know the Violet would have been a nice item to equip here but oddly enough I didn't think Boy was going to be doing any tanking. There's a lot of ways I thought this fight would go but but boy, tanking Clay's Excadrill was not one of them. <laughs> oh, he's gonna heal. There's literally no point in me um, worrying about boy's health either, because like... If Rock Slide KOs, like if Rock Slide crits, Rock Slide's KOing. Like probably twice over if it crits. The thing I'm kind of hoping for is that Rock Slide only has like 90 accuracy. Oh boy. Bet you're glad I bought all those lemonades, huh? The thing that I'm kind of worried about is 
when he runs out of rock slides, he's gonna move over to Slash, and that's worse. way that gym battle could have gone. <laughs> Good job, boy. Fantastic level. You're showing us why you're worth it. Pokemon can actually learn Bulldoze. Like, I'd be very surprised if they can, given that they're all kind of... birds. to do grinding there. Like, if Boy was just a few points of HP and defense um, lower, that wouldn't have worked. can't get over how stupid that was, but I won. These vending machines. Oh, I really hope I couldn't come here early. There shouldn't be anything down there for me. Ah, here we go. So let's see if any of my Pokemon can actually learn anything. Well, it's not looking great. Genuinely moves that you can't get otherwise. 
which is a bit strange. Gust and Sweet Scent are the only ones that are actually here from Combi, but the rest of this stuff's new, but it's not very good. So that's a bit odd. I, I get Fury Cutter, and it does a bug move. It's just, it's, um, a dreadful. And I think the only other one who... Oh, wait, no! Oh my goodness! Okay, well, I will check Nazca. On a kind of not evolving. I thought he might have had something. Also, I totally thought Nazca had Reflect, and that was my backup strategy, so... <laughs> that's, uh... That's lucky. Yeah, I didn't think you'd have anything, but I thought I'd check. Okay. But... But, 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 Dingbat does have something for us. Cross Poison. Also Screech. This is the best physical move, Crobat's uh, best physical poison move. Best physical move, that's just sad. The Crobat will ever get. But now Dingbat's actually got a move, so... Yay. Oh, actually, wait, no. Can it learn Gunk Shot? Uh. Yeah, what have I been missing out on? With my laziness? Okay, I'm not, I'm not sad about that. <laughs> and you're also a special attacker, I guess. Eh, Grind's not a move I get a lot of... You know what? I don't need you. I know who you are. I don't know who I spoke to. This section's an awful lot better than um, Pokestar Studios, but it's still... You're still forced. Especially weird given that you don't gain any experience from this and everything. Like, it's treated like you're doing it as a proper battle facility. But you're not. Also, yeah, oddly enough, we are indeed going to be... Why do they... The pointlessly gendered colours for the names? But yeah, oddly enough, we're actually just going to be fighting the people who are, you know... People? With that in mind, I guess I actually should have brought Boy, huh? But yeah, this is treated like a battle facility, and like... You don't get experience, and your opponent's levels are all set to a certain level, but... Your levels aren't. And this is especially noticeable in challenge mode. Because they're all level 25. I just had to fight a level 36. Why? So as always, Courage is completely unstoppable in every way, shape, and form. Oh, I used to have one then. I knew it. I knew you'd use Detect. <laughs> I knew it. Swap Courage's strength out for a turn, but 
right now I'd rather have. Oh, actually, this is the only one with um, type weapons. But right now I'd rather actually just have the um, the ability to move rocks around. I don't get money, I don't get experience, they're trivially weak. I don't really get this. Okay, how come that first one was a lopsided battle but this could have gone either way? I destroyed him. Oh, good job, Kelly. From what I recall, Cheren is definitely cheating, because even though his Pokemon are level 25, um, yeah, Stoutland you can't have at level 25. What this actually suggests is that they've genuinely been leveled down. Problem solved. But, um, for some reason we have I feel like they maybe considered leveling the player down for this section, but just didn't do it. was just a bit faster. It's not the speediest bird in the world. It's actually not the hardest hitter in the world either, it's just really, really strong compared to everything else we have access to right now. Jen, that was just sad. <laughs> Deep man, thanks. Gosh, I wonder if he'll win between Colrus and Melly? Oh Kelly. Oh my goodness, it was Colrus. Okay, gonna be real though, Colrus does scare me. Like, I absolutely should have brought Boy. We'll see how this goes. I don't think you need to win this, though, so... I don't really care. And by the time we need to fight Colas again, like... I'll have counters for him by then. See, this is why I didn't bring Boy, is because... Wild Boy would be able to hit past the Steel type. He's weak to electricity. Very, very, very weak to electricity. Yeah, I thought you'd do that. That's tedious. At least it's only Thunder Shot. Still flipping hearts, but there we go, that's the strongest one down. Why he opens with the strongest Pokemon, but I'm fine with it. Is Karen truly gonna get two of his Pokemon down despite being paralyzed? <laughs> Bravery, man. You don't know what you've... You don't know what you're missing out on until you actually use it. Oh, it doesn't have an elect... Oh. Oh, this is... Oh, this is over. Oh no, I don't feel good. If I, if I will give Heelwalk something, it's that it's got a really cool looking animation. 
Yeah. Yeah, Colorus, that was, um... That was really sad. So, the Driftvale tournament, or the PWT rather, is actually really, really cool. But it's basically untouchable for normal people, and that's so sad. But what they do is they bring back every uh, gym leader and champion from past games in the series. And you can fight them all. You can either fight them based on region, where it'll be a, a regional tournament, where it'll put you with like seven of the eight gym leaders in that region. Or there's a t or there, there are type master ones, like all the fire type Pokemon are there, all the fire type Pokemon uh, gym leaders. I just think this is really cool and I'm really upset they've never brought anything like it back. And I'm also really upset that it's really, really, really inaccessible. That was deep, Colonus. The base is just a big boat. I do worry a little bit about my levels falling behind, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Mainly because, you know, it doesn't really matter what level you are if you kind of one-shot everything anyway. Like, levels are significantly less important for the player than for opponents, because I have type advantages and stuff on my side. Like, I have strategy. <laughs> they just have raw AI. is not going to be with us forever. <laughs> I think she's going to stick around until the next gym. Just due to the type advantage, but... After that, I'm not really sure she's particularly worth it. But she'll have still done a lot better than I ever thought Amalga could.
That was so difficult to activate, chat. Well, at least the Starling should be the right level now. Yeah, that means it really was leveled down. But my stuff wasn't leveled down. I really wonder if they were going to, but they thought it'd be too difficult. Thanks, Jared. Okay, Nibbles actually just became good. Problem is, I can't really show off acrobatics right now, but I swear, Nibbles just improved drastically. And she is determined to make you know it. The issue is, as soon as other Pokemon start getting acrobatics, um, Nibbles is really not going to be very special. Uh, yeah, we'll take one. Let's see if there's anything down there for me. Of course this will be the fight where I don't bring um, Nazca. Even though I had the option. No, really, that's that was great. That was that was great. Man. Thanks. No, 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 you do your own thing. Just go. Don't help with the grammar. I don't even need your help. I mean, I literally don't. But I can still be passive aggressive about it. Poison. I'm gonna be honest, Dingbat's starting to fall behind a little bit. But that's because Crobat's such an all round Pokemon rather than being really good at one thing. Offensive thing in the world, although <laughs> that attack plus three is helpful, but look at just those balanced stats with raw speed. 
And because of how stats work in Pokemon, that works out to Crobat actually being quite bulky. It's really not what you would expect from Bat, but you know, I'll take it. Oh, I never even checked. Develop passage. To distract her. Okay, for some reason it's very dangerous. Well, there's trainers in there, so I guess I can go for that. Just see if there's any items in there. Oh. Not only. But it does give. Access to here. Mm. This is all just black and white, and black and white and stuff. Stuff is completely different, but it does not look like there are any items down there for me that I can see. Yeah. Like I say, I may as well go for just the experience and stuff. Chad and remembers this guy from like a million years ago. Oh well. Ninjas. <sighs> what are you gonna do? Okay, I will never use that. You ever just find some zinc in the bin? bother going down there because I'm pretty sure you need strength but like if I'm keeping strength anyway I may as well try and use it you know oh although yes one thing first Side quest that I'm not gonna do. Oh, okay, you've actually gone. My goodness, they actually use the Weather Institute? Okay, there's no new Pokemon I can catch with this, but. There are a few things that I want regardless, and also it's just a really, really good move.
This is the main reason why Boy gets to stick around for so long. But yeah, first things first, we can actually fly back to our house because we have a little pond. I'm doing this out of that pond. Bear with. Need to beat up a fish first. A level 6 fish. Pity you if you actually want to use a Pokemon that you catch while surfing. Because for reasons unknown, they're all terrible. Anyway, this is a phenomenally good move to just have around. <laughs> just 80 base power, 100 accuracy, lower special defense. It's a grass type move as well, and it is, I believe, the only grass type move we can learn. Um, that we can actually really use. Nazca is the only Pokemon I think we catch this entire run who can learn any grass moves. <laughs> and it's just this and another option that I might go with for one gym, we'll see. But it's not technically as good as Energy Ball at the best of times. But now we really have something to hit rock types with. This would have been exceptionally helpful right then. It's awesome indeed, yeah. things I actually know that I want, but <laughs> now I'm kind of like, I actually don't know what's over here. Because there is water. Well, you know, I mean, I don't know. It makes sense. I can't use it, but you know. In fact, I can't use it in any of the runs I have planned whatsoever. I don't know why it takes so long for a battle to start. For once, that's not actually the game lagging out or anything like that. That's genuinely just how long it takes. Oh, well, that's tedious. Black 2, White 2 are, uh, like, honestly, Gen 5, the aesthetic of these games is great. Like, I love how they look. Oh, that's where Alder was. Is there really nothing here? Huh. Um. But yeah, like, these are genuinely just great games to play. Uh, Black 2 and White 2 especially. By virtue. Is the water plus I don't care. I know there's water in Verbank City. Um, but yeah, especially due to the addition of the challenge mode. Actually giving you a hard mode option to play Pokemon with that can be pretty hard. It's definitely not something you kind of expect from Pokemon. But yeah, Sigilyph is one of these Pokemon that I really like, but I've never used it. Because there's not really that many opportunities in the series to use a Sigilyph. Okay, apparel and the Sewer War. Makes sense. Get a close and find. I, yeah, I, oh, I could have got that earlier. <laughs> I gained nothing. Uh, yeah, I can, I can uh, very much recommend um, these games. Can I not surf here because of the ball? Black 2 White 2 are definitely some of just the best games in the series to just play if you feel that Pokemon's too easy. Something in that bin. Oh, 
Okay, rare candy. I'm gonna be real, I don't really care about what's in the bin. Um, okay, there's, there's more stuff in Castelia in the underground, but I don't really care. Nothing in Nimbasa. Okay, that brings us right back to where we were. I mean, I've definitely missed stuff on, like, roots, but... The main thing I wanted to pick up was Energy Ball. There is water... in this town. However, I can't... yeah. I think you could surf on this in black and white, but I think the tide level's gone down since then. One of the most interesting things about these games is that they actually do things with the fact it's been two years. Stuff has changed but not enough for you to feel like it was a lot longer and you've been lied to. It's pretty neat. Um, excuse me. Oh. Okay, thank you. I should've just bought a bunch of repels and I'm gonna walk around this slowly. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, there are seasons. Every every real time month, the season shifts by one. They're preset. Like June is always summer, for example. Um, and your game checks the month to see what season it should be. But yeah, they change encounter rates. They change the aesthetics of um, areas. Black and white got some criticism for basically only having two seasons: winter and not winter. Because <laughs> in winter, a lot of um, stuff would freeze over, and that was where the main changes were in things. So this game adds a few extra things, but it's still mainly just aesthetics. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head is that sometimes in this game there are um, holes in the ground that get filled up with uh, fallen leaves in the autumn. It is immensely neat. I'm really sad that, much like most of the stuff they introduced in Black and White, it just kind of got dropped, moving into the future games. Like, these games were such a... Like, they're good still, but they're such a blueprint of what could have been, and what never was. And it's just really sad. Although there is... Actually, there is another Grass-type move that I think we might be able to get. I wouldn't learn it though. I just remembered it there. Um, but Dingbat should be able to learn Giga Drain. Uh, yeah, but 90% of what the seasons do is still winter and not winter. Like, in winter, um, Ice-type Pokemon come out in earlier areas and stuff like that, or they're only 1% encounters not in winter. Things like that. It's genuinely really neat. I'm really sad they dropped it. Uh, the Pokemon Deerling as well changes its form completely, depending on the season. It's purely aesthetic, like most of the stuff to do with seasons, but it is still neat. Right, that's definitely a way onwards, so... We love Sigilif. Just straight into the point. Uh, let's get the Dyson Machine back up. What's up here? Trainer. Interesting that he was still able to keep walking even after the battle began. Like, <laughs> I feel like he could therefore walk into me and I would be forced into a fight immediately after this fight ended if I got unlucky. Not that that would really hurt. Also, I'm really glad I came here. This place is fantastic for experience. Okay. 
It might have speed as well, which is sad. No, no. I always forget the sigil if it's fast. It's kind of not something you expect from it. You'd expect it to have like kind of middling speed, but it's actually a decently fast Pokemon for some reason. Nazca, you had a great time. Genuinely, that was... Okay, Synchronize is hot trash. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, Psybeam, 65 base power, Com inflicts confusion. Synchronize, 5 more base power, only works on Pokemon that are the same type as you. This thankfully does not mean they have to be Psychic Flying. It means they have to be Psychic or flying, and they can be any other type mixed in with those, but why is this so bad? They realised how terrible it is as well. Oh no, I don't want it, I don't want it. Because immediately in um, Gen 6, they buff Synchronize from 70 power to 110, I believe? And there I would actually have considered it, because there's a lot of flying types. Protein? Okay. Yeah, I mean, the next gem is flying type, to not, you know, spoil too much. Like, that would have been a genuine consideration of, hmm, I could do that. Okay, being real, I think Nazca might die right here. Baldor are pretty annoying. Because you can't kill them in one hit. Okay, just iron defense. That's good though, because it kind of reminded me that Nazca needs to be switched out anyway. Two crits in a row, by the way, Nazca, and neither of them matter. Thanks. So this game has hardly any caves compared to um, Black and White, or at least Black and White had an early game cave, and that's what really matters. But in caves, you know, you just saw there, you get burrowing spots. And sometimes those are drill burn, but sometimes they are shards, or evolution stones, and even more sometimes, those are gems. And gems are absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> and given the run I'm doing, I really hope I can pick up a flying gem at some point. What gems do is you equip them to a Pokemon, and then if it was a flying gem for instance, then I'd select Aerial Ace. On Courage's turn, the flying gem would get used up, and Aerial Ace would deal 1.5 times the damage I think it is. Maybe two times. I can never remember. But this stacks ridiculously with acrobatics. Acrobatics is a 55 base power flying move. And what it does is it yeah, they boost the type moves, but do you know about its do you know about its thing with acrobatics? So acrobatics doubles in power if you're not holding an item. But the gem gets used up first. So acrobatics goes from 55 to 110 to 165 base power. And then you factor in the same type of attack bonus, and it goes to 247.5 base power. Like... <laughs> that That's ridiculous, that will one-shot anything. And I really kind of hope I can abuse it. Just because it'll be fun. Oh, really? Oh, courage. That's never happened to you before. Well, I haven't seen Melifera in, like, forever, so... Nice to see it again, I guess. Honestly, Acrobatics is powerful, but... 
there's actually a lot of times I would rather have a held item. Um, like genuinely. Oh, fine. Really. Especially in a run like this, I would rather have my Pokemon boosting their types that aren't flying than have them all run efficient acrobatics. An exception to that is probably Dingbat, because Poison does not complement flying very nicely offensively at all. So he probably, if I keep using him, will end up with um, acrobatics. You know, this is more hassle than it's worth. We'll heal up and then go further into the cave, I guess. I normally never explore this cave, because you don't usually need to for experience, but it feels like it's at least an excuse to grind. Like, oh look, a new area! <laughs> Rather than be just beating up Ordino for ages. far without encounter. I'll take that. It's a damn bell door, but you know. I should probably just run from these, to be honest. Like... They're pretty bad to take on. There are repels, but the Pokemon are what drop loads of experience down here, so... Do I get the defense floor? Like, not once? Like, really? Like, Cottage, you can just stay down, to be honest. Because I was just. That really confused me for a second. Did I get the defense lore? But yeah, like, okay, maybe that didn't look like a lot of experience, but trust me, it, it kind of is. This cave is one of the only places you can really fight evolved Pokemon for a while. You know what? You are really not suited to this cave, so even though you just got acrobatics and it's awesome, I'm gonna give you the experience here back. Because everyone else is much more suited to this cave than you are. Yeah, like, I mean, okay, it's not quite as good as beating up the Chansey in that game, but, oh, well, I say beating up, but catching the chance. So look at this guy actually just having a rock and roller. Come on, man. That doesn't help me. This is an unevolved version of the things in this cave. Um, like, the Ordino are definitely the, the superior way to grind, but... It just, it looks a lot more boring, I think. <laughs> Come on. 
classic dingbat. Okay, this guy has unevolved versions of the Pokemon that are found in this cave, and as a result, he gives less experience. Why? What was the point in that guy? Tobias, you suck. levels of surfing encounters in this game because they're always about 10 levels lower than the other wild Pokemon in the area. It's like, did they think water types were just too powerful? But I actually don't know the way, let alone on this floor. Like, I don't know the way in this cave. Let's see, have you got, you got maps for me? It's not the right place. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna be real, that doesn't help. Uh, I miss the days when websites were actually designed to, you know, be nice to use. Right, I do want to go across the water. I did suspect that this would be optional. to sell that, so it's worthless. Nothing else. Okay, I take it back. I didn't want to go across the water. The bed's still stronger than cross poison. Oh, no! Not that. Yeah, I'm kind of hoping everyone will be about level 32 by the time I leave this cave. I'd like to point out that's still very under level. <laughs> but this is what happens when you try and use literally every flying type. Oh, wait, you're a decent level. What happened? I mean, you're still a Basculin, so you're still pretty terrible, but... Hey? Okay, glad we finally got Dingbat out of there, because he's really not suited to this cave. Uh, we'll bring in Nazca, because Nazca's really suited to this cave. want to use them here. <laughs> I continue to question if these bold are worth it, but at the very least Nazca can two shot. Doesn't even need energy ball. Yeah they're not they're not worth it. They're not worth my time. They're not worth it. I'm not gonna fight them anymore. Okay, we're gonna run away from the Baldor. Actually, you know what? Courage, if you're still able to use this. Yep, let's get that attack stat up. Much better. Easy one shot, don't need to worry about it, move on with my life.
Number 36, wow. Something that finally suggests that this should have actually been gated behind that last gem. Oh. Okay, that's tedious. I brought the boosts. That's gonna hurt. It did hurt. Any chance you won't do that again? It was a lot to hope. such a great time down here. I get be real full competitive is not running both um, Amnesia and Calm Mind. But yeah, I was not expecting Calm Mind Air Slash. <laughs> One Pokemon, yeah. <laughs> Although it'd be a bit terrifying if, you know, she had multiple. You might as well keep the experience share on. Nah, you're kind of doing okay. You're not falling behind or anything. Alright, what's on the rock? Always nice to get shards. If I have to grind for shards, this is where I'll grind for them. But I won't do it right now, obviously, because there's not really anything worth using them for yet. Uh, the shards allow you to use move tutors um, for specific moves. Like there's one back in uh, Driftvale who'll teach um, stuff ranging from like fire punch, ice punch, thunder punch to gunk shot to um, bug bite in exchange for red shards. But depending on how good the move is, the shard cost ranges between 4 to 12 and 12 is a lot of shards. Uh, no, the heart scales are still used here. The heart scales are just for remembering moves as opposed to learning new moves. Um, this stuff with shards is actually moved to being a focus on... Uh, BP in future games, which is a bit lame. Where am I going now? Got lost. That doesn't answer my question. I think I want to go up. Uh, I long for the world in which sending out my bug type against a psychic type actually matters. Okay, this is going to take a long time. power. Oh, great. That's good to know. Oh, you got the boosts! Oh, perfect. The 10% chance to boost all your stats. Right. Melif Melifera, I'm just gonna kind of let you go down because I thought it might do that. Okay. <laughs> No punches. Oh no, not in focus. Okay, these trainers are genuinely obnoxious. What the hell?
Okay. Now, this is one of the only times this actually makes sense. The ice cream cues burns. On the plus side, should gain pretty good levels down here as a result of half my team being dead. Red shard colour was one short of checking if someone could learn something good. I don't remember what though. I actually never checked if Crobat can learn Gunk Shot. Not that it's overly important, but um... You don't have inner focus. Um... It cannot. Oh, Geek Dream's a move to remove. Okay, in that case I probably won't get it for ages. Yeah, they give you this move tutor. I, one of them's in the post game, and I'm pretty sure the one in the post game is like, the good one. Oh, whoops, wrong way. I wanna go down before we go in there. At least these Gurgers will give a lot of um, attack EVs. Like, I'm actually getting something out of beating them up. Not that I'm typically able to beat them up with my physical Pokemon, but you know, it's the thought that counts. You know, um, I completely forgot that was a thing that could happen. But uh, yeah, it was nice to have you around. Have a good time. I will see you. Oh, just the wild wood I have on me. Yeah. Does that mean that trainer just had a? They just they just had moves like those were just level up moves. They just happened to be like really obnoxious. Okay. Don't use rock throw. Okay, nice crit, nice crit. Right, I reckon I'm gonna go with speed and share back to Nettles then. Hello, hello, hello? You're not even gonna be like, oh, it echoes in here. Is that gonna be the post battle dialogue? You can't just hit me with hello, hello, hello. Hyperfine to exactly the same effectiveness as Superfine. That was a lot of experience. Another shard that won't be useful until later. Okay, there should be basically nothing here except a boulder to push. If I've got my layout correct. It would appear that I've got my layout at least somewhat, right? Well, I 
actually I forgot a map for this floor. Is there are there parts I couldn't access? May as well look, right? Okay, phone disagrees. Um Oh, there there is. Sharp, nice, nice. Um, I don't really get this though, because this is all all ramps. This doesn't really make any sense for why there was a strength boulder there to begin with, because it's not actually a shortcut. It just means it's required to move further in. I don't know what is further in. Is it just going to take me back to the previous screen? I didn't see a door. Oh, I'll be where that one item was. What a Oh, that's significantly less interesting. Oh well. At least I know. Oh, there's a lot of stuff here. Is any of it any good? Rock jam, right? Uh, so no. Or candy, so no. Rocky helmet. Okay. I can think of a Pokemon that would be useful on. I think we all knew it wouldn't happen. Right, anyway, is there an item over here at all? It must be every- yeah. But it's a secret! At least these guys seem to know that if they don't use Bite, they're not getting a turn. If you can call Bite a turn. Yeah, that was, that was just really kind of things. Um, I'm not gonna have an escape rope, am I? Oh, I do, I do, I do. Right, we're actually gonna buy another escape rope. few just so that I don't actually ever run out because they're really cheap and while I never use them in my spare time I may as well use them here. I mean I assume you sell them. I'd be a bit disgusted if you didn't to be honest. on revives yet. I don't really know that I'll need them. I do tend to just power through. for you. This is so tedious. 
Yeah, just for now. Um, Cause you're gonna be terrible for uh, a while. for something now. So this is Yes. Okay, I can learn garbage. really tempting just to give my bug type a bug move. Like, Malifera, I'm gonna look at your moveset again, I'm gonna be really sad about it. That's why I kind of keep looking away from it. You know, like, hey, you know, when I look at the sun. I do, I looked it up. Okay, red shards, worthless. Go. Cool. Well, if they're worthless, why don't I teach Bug Bite to Malifera? She's not gonna have a bug move until level 45 otherwise, and... Like... She's meant to be my bug type. Um, your attack is definitely higher than your special attack. We're gonna focus more on your physical attack anyway. Yeah, go on, go on. I am the first person in history to ever learn bug bite from the move tutor. Don't know, Malafari, you're still pretty terrible, but you know. But better now. Heal order at some point. As much as I like it, like, I just like it for the animation, really. And that's not enough to justify having it. from the Baldor because they're not worth time. Like, Courage can't even two-shot them, which is just sad. Okay, I purposely didn't put on repels because I want to fight stuff. I just don't want to fight Baldor. Great, I'm glad I I'm glad I didn't use a repel for that. Nice. 
Yeah, your time will come one day, Volcarona. That's just sword stance, so you know I'll take it. Okay, ice cream cures burns. Honestly, I keep forgetting they're leaving Wobat down here. I feel like they're never I feel like they never show up. Compared to the other stuff. Okay, I take it back because if we want to talk about never showing up, we can't forget about this guy. Who's literally never shown up. If Rock Smash ever wants to get that, you know, defense loader, oh, okay. Slab's a terrible man. Not excited about moles. We all know what they are, we all know what they do, they bottle. Encounters, the encounter rate just drops to zero. And no, no encounters here. Well, we finished that a lot faster than I thought we would, slash hoped we would, because I really, really wanted more experience. Skill that's just peachy. They will probably be used eventually. Like, we do still have Pokemon left to catch. A lot of them, in fact. Um, I think we've caught about half of the Pokemon that are valid for this run. The issue is, um, <laughs> there aren't any for a while. <laughs> And then they just kind of drop them all on you. And as a result, I'm highly unlikely to use many of them. I will use a couple though, simply because I don't think an Amolga is going to be able to last for long enough to be on the final team.
This route seems to be specifically set up to allow you to skip as little of it as possible. Oh, uh, hi. Goodbye. Oh, not you. Gonna do that. Because it's not far ahead of Nazca's special attack. You are terrible. You are truly without redemption. You know what, though? Since I already have more money than God, um, I might as well take the violin. Nothing on it? Why? Or did I already get what was on it? It could be either. Well, at least we're getting some really good TMs, huh? Castilia, it's dark in the cave. Right, is there anything in the cave? Please, please say no. Please say no. Looks good. No, please, please, no. Please don't be what I think it is. Yeah, we're going through the cave. I really need that. through the cave without flash but I could also you know like peel off my own skin so I'm not gonna
thank you. This is the only place in this game where Flash is even used, so I kind of forgot about it. That was a great story. Another Vertical in Flash? I mean, this realist, this loser is gonna learn Flash, but you know. I quite like having both Spark and Electro Ball, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, go on, I'm never going to use double team. The strategies involving it are really not reliable. And with luck like mine, you kind of need reliable strategies. Right, let's try the cave again. This time not embarrass myself completely. the extra space, but you think I'll remember that they're there? Also, I just noticed. There's a, there's a thing. Yeah, much like the last place we were in, this place has pretty good random encounters, so... Guess we'll find them. Also has, um, random hikers. Who almost definitely have Baldur. <sighs> but why, Shelby? That is going to do beans. Okay, cool. Are you blocking off the part of the cave I wanted to go to? The part of the cave that I just went and got Flash so that I could go to? Really? Okay, so there's nothing here for- when, when does he open up? When does he allow me through? Don't 
Don't let it be the pole skin. Don't let it be the pole skin. Oh! Oh no! Okay, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. He's just blocking- he's blocking off a different entrance to this place that is only accessible in the post-game. But that's it. I can still go through the whole place. Thank goodness. Here's your second opportunity for a dragon type if you're doing a mono dragon run. I hope you've been having fun with your trap inch. Basically what I'm trying to say is don't do a mono type dragon run. It doesn't it, it won't be fun in any capacity. But it also won't really be hard because a lot of it's a lot of the early game you're not gonna have a Pokemon. And then yeah, it's gonna suck for a bit to have a trap inch, but it's got a type advantage against the gym you come up against, and if you're only using a trap inch, it'll probably evolve. My God, why have you forsaken me? So it turns out the Onyx give nothing as far as experience is concerned. That's good to know. Obviously, that's great. Oh, you don't have full lemonade, you can just have some water. The last of my water. So right away this is the most suspicious thing ever because I needed strength to- Yeah I did. This might be the last time strength is needed though. So I might be able to shift courage over to a uh, return after this. Hi. All right, that's a really weird thing to say to anyone. Jeff. Jeff. Okay, well I'm already terrified of what his second Pokemon definitely is.
fence loading there, did you know? Is this, this is like the worst use of lemonade the world's ever seen, but I'm doing it. She gently munch. Well, you know, my little fat, at least you're trying. You're weird and also terrifying because where's the Arkham? for now because you're not really going to be doing damage anyway. Alright, that was a weird detour. I guess otherwise I'd need to fight that guy later? Okay, that's the eggs, huh? Yeah, that didn't help. Okay, so it's down. Wuba, I will fight Wuba. Does it have air cut? Okay. I will not fight Wuba. Have you do you have do you have the Arkham? Like like do do you have an Arkham? Do you have a level 36 Arkham? Yup! Okay, Nazca, just try and not get one shot by it. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Agility is not something that you use on an Arkin. On an Arkin, you just kind of hope. You don't have space to be running agility. <laughs> levels off of evolving too. Fat is that passive? I don't remember what level fracture is. 
Let me thirty eight. It didn't work. That wasn't a terrifying noise at all. You're tiny. Little. Blue shard. Okay, we picked up a lot of shards in here. It's quite nice. appreciate about this dungeon it's the way that the shortcuts are actually shortcuts if you want to go straight through to the end of the dungeon you can it's literally you just go right and then right again like the strength boulders are actually set up nicely for once I thought this was the last room. Although if there's one thing I am noticing is that you don't need flash for this room. Actually this might be the last room anyway. The Atom are also not particularly worth it. Right, Nibbles, that's probably the level you're going to be for the next gym. Sad though it makes me. For though this item up here. Right, y'all aren't worth fighting. So, hop it. Yes. You see, the game was afraid that Courage might not be, you know, the best choice for a gym. So it made sure that despite being a, a goddamn bird, <laughs> he's able to cause rock slides. Yeah, Rock Smash can get right out. Pretty sick of it, to be honest. It's really bad. Even if it is the only... Moles. It's always moles. Steel gem that is um, absolutely worthless, but you know, 
It's at least not a mole. That's also not a mole, but it's still terrible. Like, the dingbat would probably win that fight, but it's just not worth the hassle. an awful lot in here that's actually worth fighting at this point. To be fair, there's not actually an awful lot in here that's worth doing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're done. Dragon gem. And then this is where Cobalion was. Okay, cool. Don't let me go. But you know, like, we're pretty much done with this place, so we as well get it going. If he uses Iron Defense, I'm out. Okay, cool. That was like the only acceptable thing for you to do, really. Okay, that, that, was, that was pretty great. Yeah, there's nothing up there. I don't think there's ever anything up there either, like... Cobalion doesn't, like, just appear there at some point later in the game or anything like that. I'm pretty sure he appears somewhere completely different. Maybe I'm wrong. I fought the last one. I didn't sustain any injuries. Also, I'm pretty sure we're done. Okay, nope. Speaking of being done, and <laughs> not dealing with iron defense. Say that cave set up. I probably didn't even need to use Flash to leave. Okay, kind of worried about this cave. Guess we'll see how it goes. Right, I'm gonna be honest. I think I'm just gonna put up a uh, a rappel here. I don't think anything this cave has to offer is worth fighting. I do like that it is, Dingbat, but you know, I'm not expecting that to be the norm. Thanks, Bianca. I don't know, I never come here before I'm supposed to, but I, I'm assuming 
that if you came here before you did the gym, she would go, Hey, you should go do the gym. It is interesting to note that you can actually enter Chargestone Cave before the gym, though. So you can catch Pokemon here. That was so close to being cool, Dingbat. Also, you'll note that the um, trainer Pokemon have kind of like stopped being so far ahead. I kind of told you that would happen. I didn't actually do any grinding, I just explored the areas that were granted to me by the game. Got rid of only move that was good against magnets. You know what, Ronald? You do you. Okay, this might be a full party waiting down, but... I mean, theoretically, it should hit itself harder. You know, if it actually wants to hit itself. It's not going to hit itself because it's going to break out of confusion because, yeah. Interesting tactic of X attack mixed in with mid or shot. Can't say I follow. But it is definitely an interesting tactic. Right. I've already tried the duck. Better shot. <laughs> All hail the duck. Good job, boy. Um, but also, what the hell? That was actually almost really awkward because it occurs to me that Boy would have definitely taken it out if I'd just given him the uh, the Mystic Water. I'm not trying to. Yeah. These rocks are so cool. <laughs> okay. So
should be able to get the sixth gem done today. It's gonna be pretty sad if I can't. Where am I? Okay, no, this is the correct path. Right, that was really weird. Oh, okay. I wasn't wasn't missing much. Is this going to be like a triple ball? It is! Weird team. the best you have to offer. That's so sad, Melifera. You know what? No, you're gonna use Power Gem on the Unfazon, just in case Courage doesn't take it out. Well, bug bite on the Clink would have done more. Who knew? Good Pokemon, give it a go. See, look how amazing they are. Right, it's probably going to protect itself again. May as well just power jam it once more. Given that we know a rock slide will be enough. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Uh, we're gonna be here until the end of time. That sand slash makes me laugh every time, though. Okay, you know what? That put it back to exactly where it just was. So we're just gonna keep doing that because the best it can do is is a stalemate. And we're still hurting the sand slash. Bro, we get it, you're fast. Yeah, like I said, the best it can do is a stalemate. basically just gonna always use detect or you know roost. Good lord this team would be a lot better if it was just ten if it was just six courages. <laughs> I 
Should have actually just healed Malafada with Dengraf's turn. Oh, okay. Well, if it wants to be blind, who am I to stop him? <laughs> Sand Slash! I'd be so angry if that was me. Like, that lock is dreadful. Okay, Dingbat just became a heck of a lot better. Yeah, I don't really care about Toxic. I don't see it coming up. Hand slash though. Like it tried. forever but you know it was at least somewhat satisfying I feel well for me <laughs> all teams all basically the same level again proud 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 puzzle because the stairs are right here. Yes! Okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if that was down here but I suspected it would be if it was anywhere. Too. I love how I'm trying to waste as little time as possible. I end up just looking up maps of every single area, which definitely wastes far more time than if I just stumbled about. Absolutely nothing here. Okay, and the other path goes on this whole winding thing. Oh, that's so obviously the actual path that it hurts. The way. Oh, it is. Wait, there's no way out though. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. This place is a lot more linear than it looks. That's quite nice though for a cave. <laughs> I don't want to get lost. Like that's good game design is having somewhere be more linear than it looks and not just be linear. You know, you don't want to just feel like, oh yeah, okay, there's only really one path. You want to feel like, oh, I found it. I did well. Yay. 
cottage, just don't do it. Don't do it. Ah, you did it. Thunder Punch from Ampharos? That's what took you out. Pathetic. Ranger? Can I? No way though, right? No way I can just rematch you as often as I like, right? Like, no way, right? Oh, I was so excited. Ultra Ball. Ah, here we go. I knew there'd be a doctor somewhere in here. I actually felt like it was a nurse. Maybe it was a nurse in uh, black and white. Doctor's always been terrible. I think it's it's quite nice because you know when you need a heal, you need a heal. Better move. Well, what garbage are you gonna learn next, Nazca? Now come on, surely even boy can do this one. for the sweep, but you only have one Pokemon left, so... Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Well, that worked. Boy, you are a waste of space. I might have to use the stupid duck, but I don't have to like it. Okay, so... I need to take off your item. Iron... I don't know, I only really use the offensive ones, I find. shots literally everything. Okay, he doesn't one-shot that. Boy. You know how you're like really good now, yeah? How'd you feel about basically taking on Clay's Excadrill again? is immensely broken. 
Oh, let's be fair, he's been dying a lot lately. Unexpected. Okay, let me tell you, boy has not improved. Boy is terrible. I have absolutely no idea what just happened right there. But I assure you, boy's still bad. That was just an immensely lucky crit. This is really not your battle. Um. Oh, with the X special, oh, boy, probably could have. Oh well. You can you can beat the gold bat. I know you can. Oh, it's not even using a physical move. Well, at least now it can't use physical moves. So I'll just get crits instead. That feels about right. Come on, boy. No one else can do this for you. This is your moment of truth. Can you beat the goal back? You can't even start spamming ring attack. Oh, thank God. We're done. We're done with the duck. We're done with the duck. We finally have something that might be somewhat decent. Right, you might miss him. I, I don't. He's much better like this, I think. He's actually pretty good. <laughs> All right, I'm genuinely surprised. I am going to try and use this Swanna for the rest of the game. Special defense, speed, defense. But all right, 
Alright, that was pretty great. See you later, Bianca. I'm headed down. It's always a mole! I want a flying gem. For completely innocent reasons. Still don't have anything to do with electric types. And I won't until after, I think, the seventh gym. <laughs> electric types continue to be terrifying. Come on, Cara Gen Chance, you just want to one shot it? I doubt it, but you know. It was, it was close. You can't deny him that. That was close. Don't get paralyzed. See, Cottage is way better than, than getting paralyzed. He's a good lad. God, we got some right trash here. Right. Oh, fair, you get that one. I might actually use that in the next gym, so I'll take it. Like, I won't complain too much about that one. Okay, I'm gonna keep going down. Why? Why must people have rocks? I don't want them to have rocks. I knew you were gonna have rocks, man. You weren't even clever about it. Okay, and then we're going to switch Malafera out before we get hit by a times 8 rock move. Even off of Onyx piddly attack stat, that's going to do numbers. Yeah, that would have, that would have hurt. That would have hurt a lot. Versus a Baldor. What else would it be? Why would you use literally any other Pokemon? Nope, it's gotta be the one with Sturdy. You're fine, Nazca. It's all good. either of its purposes. Um. <laughs> Thanks game, I'm really glad I picked up the random one now. Oh, you're just a trainer? Why are you standing there? Oh, triple battle time. Oh, it's a rotation battle. Okay, they're much more manageable.
mean, acrobatics is like my best move to take out the Ferocid as well, so even if you switch into the Ferocid, like to tank it, it doesn't really matter to me. Genuinely don't have anything else to hit it with. <laughs> Get out! Acrobatics. Who even needs other moves? Like <laughs> When this one's so powerful that you can just spam it like that. Well, I will admit that was fun. Okay. And then this is the end of the dungeon. Halved attack stat. Oh, I liked it once. We don't have no don't know. Can I skip the turn back? I guess we'll give poor Dingbat a go. Electabuzz does have absolutely no physical defense for some reason. Oh, even with absolutely no physical defense, it's still took a hit pretty well. Okay, you set up that light screen. What's really annoying is that if I didn't get paralyzed, I would have been able to take it out. Oh, critical hit? No, just damage variance. Oh, never mind, I was able to take it out anyway. Well, that's not worth it in the slightest. Thanks, game. It's always a mole. Don't worry, level 31 is a good level to catch these up because they evolved at level 31. Like, it's pretty crazy that you can just basically get an Excadrill on your team right now, if you want one. Because they are such a good Pokemon. I know 
they're not strong, Bianca. Oh, there's more? There's more dungeon. Oh. Shoot. To the doctor, to the doctor. I thought that was it. Grass. What would I need grass for? I got so excited, I saw the F, I saw the ing. So I want to go left first, and then I want to go down. Hi, Tortuga. You have no speed or special defense, but you might have sturdy. You do. You always do. Again, a bit sick of sturdy. He's not quite doing enough damage ever, but he's under leveled. And quite frankly, the fact that if he was actually like at um of at par level wise with the opponents, and he'd just be one shotting literally everything, that's still pretty great. I can't take that away from him. I can try. Is this just the start of the cave? Okay. Okay, I know where that is. There's nothing there. Oh, could you just not exist? Like, would it be such a, a hassle for you to just not exist? deal with that. That's tedious and you know that's tedious. Oh. Okay. Sure thing, Nibbles. Take on an Ospreys? 
It's a bit of a weird fight. Stop fighting! There's plenty of hay for everyone. I guess I forgot the nose pass is terrible when I was wondering, you know, if Cutters could win this fight. Literally, it's right over there. I don't look. You are a 1% encounter. Get out of my face. Okay, we've gone through about 5,000 caves in this stream, but you know... Uh, oh, no, you yeah. Never you. You just saw the weather ones, right? Yeah, that was the thing. I forgot we hadn't met her. <laughs> Thanks, I'll, I'll use that on something, I'm sure. Do you just give those to anyone who has Pokedex? She is a woman of the hour. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking you up right now to see which one I'm going to do. Sorry if that's somewhat rude, Skylar. <sighs> okay, I think we're gonna go and do some training. That's a jump. Oh, I can probably handle it though. I'll at least give it a try. A trainer, a go. We'll see how it turns out. But there's no better way to grind than to grind in the gem itself, you know? Well, this feels safe, yeah. That's all of them. It does not feel safe to fight here. Right, so let's see. <laughs> Are we doing this gym yet, or are we coming back? Oh, I 
think we can do it. I think it's going to be pretty much soloed by Nibbles. But that's okay, because this is basically Nibbles' last hurrah. Don't take damage at any point levels and I'm sure it'll be fine. Hiding in the thing, I need to hide it. Who does that? Okay, these things will be a problem if they're gonna start showing up. had a perfect counter to arch in this entire game. This really makes you the best trainer ever. Yeah. Okay, I finally took damage. Thirty-seven's probably enough for what I've got planned for you. 
So we're gonna try and give Cutter some levels as well. This is like a long run. Totally missed this guy. There's nothing careless about thinking that, it's just true. Oh no! What a worthless Pokemon! Stuff. Right, Swooba, I need to know how much damage you do to these cutters. Okay, it outspeeds you. That's not great. Oh! Give me a chance! Consider? Go for it. Like, I'm pretty sure I can win like this, so why stall it out? Let's give Skylar a go. If I don't even remotely come close, I'll probably just try again next time and just go off and do some of the route for the next 20 minutes. But I'm pretty sure I can win. Okay, we're pulling out itemless acrobatics right off the bat. That's great. But consider, get out. to happen with this one again. Ah! Oh, I picked the wrong option. Okay. Okay, thankfully the electric gem kind of saved my ass. <laughs>
such a laugh. Uh, I don't have a direct answer to you. But Dingbat's not going to be helpful against her final Pokemon, so... Don't be wrong, I'm pretty sure I could just do the rest of it with, um, just Nibbles. But go on, let's give other people a go. Okay, I regret giving other people a go. But never let it be said that I didn't give other people a go, you know? I don't know what can pull off here. Wonder skin continues to be absolutely worthless. I tried giving other people a go. I regret it. I've learned. I never needed anyone but Nibbles. And I never should have thought I did. But you can't learn Encore. Oh, to be honest, if there was ever a time to learn a move like Encore, <laughs> it would have been interesting right now to see what I could have stuck or scarred me doing. Because it's probably going to do something set up. It's probably going to do spikes or some, something stupid like that. Yeah, I could have stuck it using agility. Hmm. Oh well. I didn't. not have worked out, but it turns out that Emolga is just too powerful. Please nerf. Badge number six. You actually do just give acrobatics this time? Thank goodness. Can anyone learn it who doesn't have it? Melifera! to give you a bug and a flying attack. I'm quite happy with what you've got right now, but that's good to keep in mind.
That will never not be satisfying. I did think, surely Celestial Tower is not just completely optional. do a bit of this route over the next 10 minutes or so and then I'll, I'll head off. Pretty happy I managed to get that gym done today. Yeah, that means next time I should at least get one gym. Okay, I'm gonna be real next time. We're not getting two gems done. There's no way. There is so much region left. And all the story's about to hit us in full force, basically. So there is other stuff to be doing apart from... Um, apart from the gems. So we'll still get stuff done next time, we just won't finish off the gym journey. But at least once you're done with the 8th gym, you're pretty much ready to just go straight on. Like you've done everything by that point. Pokemon in this game are a weirdly high level. Like, I don't know, even in challenge mode the gym leader only had level 40s and a level 42. And this random wild encounter is just level 36. Really? Oh, it's a zinc! No, no, it's cool. It's cool, Zeb Striker. I'm gonna miss my chance to actually fight that trainer now. But it's cool, because you got to be a zebra. <sighs> Vesper Clan, you're the worst tank ever. <laughs> You're weak to everything. Um...
You can't just give me a random rotation battle. You're just a child. Bother with air cutter. Cybeam will eat them anyway. Why? Why? That's just really annoying. You didn't even get anything out of that. You just disrupt my experience game. more to Nibbles. Nibbles is done. It takes a real brave man to sacrifice his deer. Why the sudden heavy focus on triple battles? That's tragic timing, but I assume Malafat is probably quite close to a level up anyway. Uh, is it this house? Thanks. Not what I was looking for. I'm sure there was another TM I'd yet to pick up. 
Well, it's possible I didn't go in this house. Oh, I didn't. Yep. I know you didn't. It's not very useful treasure, but you know, it's something. <laughs> Why don't you teach Aerialist you duckla? It learns air slash. gonna sky drop that back on the ground where I found it. I don't know, I mean I've got a full party of flying tights, maybe I should give sky drop a go. It's just, I'm pretty sure it's awful. You know if I ever get down there. I mean, yeah, it's just wing attack, but it takes a bit longer. I'm good. Almost had a chance to try out that, that raid function. Um, so yeah, I will just head off then. Um, thank you for showing up. Thank you for thanking me for the stream. Uh, bye.